Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We are back at the man cave here, and we are getting ready for the commanders with the left hand up um, game coming up on Sunday. I got a lot of work to do. I got the grill. I got the brand new grill because we got a lot of people we got to feed. I got to put together because we got to have the glizzies. Got to have the glizzies. Got to have the black and blue burgers. Got to have the pulled pork. So I need to get like eight pork, eight pork shoulders, eight of them, and smoke those suckers uh, before the game. Got to get the Joe Boo wings. Got lots to do before that time and can't wait to get my eat on and hopefully see the Dallas Cowboys win the NFC East. All right, so we've got Jaylen the pro Jalen. Oh, <laughs> oh, you know, I remember I'm old enough to remember when people said that Jalen Hurts is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. They, oh, man. Dak Prescott is garbage. Dak Prescott, the turnover machine. And Jalen Hurst, I think he's about double the turnovers that Dak Prescott's had. I, I'm just, I, I, I might be off on that, but I'm asking for a friend. But here is the Dallas Cowboys Pro Bowlers. Pro Bowlers led by one Dakota Rain Prescott. Not whack is Dak. Dak Prescott, pro bowler for the third, I think it's the third time. Um, joining with him, first times, first time rookie kicker, Brandon Albury, who has like 35 out of 35. It's just been amazing what he's done. Our punter, our punter, uh, who hasn't gotten much work this year, um, Brian Angler, he's in the, on the list there. Brian Angler's there. And, of course, we have another cornerback there, Deron Bland, Mr. Pick 6, who has got the record for most pick sixes in a season. I hope he gets one of Sam Howell this weekend. Also, Zach Martin gets his ninth, ninth Pro Bowl. C.D. Lamb, who arguably you could say is the best wide receiver in football. If, if you want, you know, I know he's about 69 yards behind Tariq Hill. But you think about those games early in the season where we didn't have an offense really and he was getting less than 54 yards a game. I think it was for three games and was kind of checked out. He literally gave Tariq Hill like a jump start. But since that time, dude has been a beast. Now owning the Dallas Cowboys single season record of receptions as well as yards. And he did it in 16 games, mind you, because some people say, oh, well, you know, the records today, they don't count because they got 17 games. Well, he did in 16, Mother Humpers. 16. Along with um, C.D. Lamb, we also have big surprise. Big freaking surprise. Micah Parsons, okay, who has been now a three-time three-time pro bowler and you know he'll be all pro too by the way um let's see did i forget anybody i got dak prescott i got brian Aguilar. um i've got um brandon albury um i've got zach martin i got cd lamb i got micah parsons and who else did i miss did i miss somebody who did i miss i missed somebody um, because I thought we had seven. That's six. Let me go over it again. We got Brandon Albury, Deron Bland, Micah Parsons, Zach Martin, CeeDee Lamb, Micah, and Dak. There you have it. Your Dallas Cowboys, and we hope that none of them play in the Pro Bowl. I don't want to see any of them playing in the Pro Bowl. None of them. Because what I want is I want them to be in the Super Bowl. That's right. I said the Super Bowl. I'm curious, though, because I, I, I don't know because I'm, I'm, I haven't. But let me look and see what Eagles have made it. Eagles Pro Bowlers. I, I'm just checking. They got six. Okay. Lane Johnson, that makes sense. Lane Johnson. A.J. Brown, okay, that, that makes sense. Landon Dickerson, okay. Hassan Reddick, all right, that makes sense. Swift has had a good season. They just don't use him anymore. And Jason Kelsey, 
Okay, that, that, I, it's hard to argue with that. Um, it's amazing because they uh, definitely have one of the best offensive lines in football. But what's missing is Jalen Hurts. I'm surprised. Wasn't he an MVP candidate just a few weeks ago? Huh. Go figure. Now, speaking of the Eagles, you know something here? Last year, because all these things are coming full circle here, Pro Bowl, Eagles, Cowboys, uh, the game, tailgate. Because last year we had, whether it was it was in the 40s, low 40s, it was kind of chilly out. We had a 425 kickoff the same time as the Eagles last year. And we were hoping that the Eagles lost and we got a win because then we would have won the division. Y'all remember that? You, do you do you remember? I remember it because the Eagles came out and immediately poof, were blowing doors and the Cowboys knew there's not much chance here. So they played lackluster. And the legend of Sam Howe was made because the commanders put the left hand up and they ended up winning against the Cowboys. So it was cold. It was definitely no fun being there, seeing the Cowboys get beat by an unknown in Sam Howe. And, um, yeah, it just was no fun. So this year, it's the Cowboys who have all, all they have to do is win. And the Eagles will have to watch the scoreboard to see what happens with the Cowboys. Roles have completely reversed, and it's a chance for the Cowboys to enact some revenge on Sam Howell. Because here's where things come full circle with the commanders, because the commanders thought, you know, we got a quarterback. I did one last year. Oh, yeah, commanders, we, we got Sam Howell. And going into the season, they thought, man, we got Sam Howell. Sam Howell was leading the NFL for yards there for a while, but just kind of turned it over a lot. But then became, hmm, Washingtonized where he became ass-ass as far as quarterback play and got benched. What's crazy here, this is really crazy. Um, Yeah, this is really crazy because what happened was, basically they said, we're going to go with Jacoby Brissett for the rest of the year. We're just going to bench. This guy, this dog don't hunt. And then Jacoby Brissett gets hurt, and then they have to go back to Sam Howell. So Sam Howell has something definitely to play for. And we'll see how he plays. But the Cowboys, they need to come out here with a sense of urgency and just put that dog down. And I, for one, cannot wait. And uh, Eagles, they seem to have some hope because A.J. Brown didn't throw them under the bus, the coaching staff and all that. And so they're feeling good about going against the New York stinking Giants. Cop Pizzle and crew. They would love nothing better than to beat the hell out of the commander. Excuse me, out of the Eagles and ruin their offseason. All right, good people. Uh, We will be at FedEx on Sunday. Peace. My home team, my loyalty. I'm at Uptown Royalty. We fight for all DC. Who are we? I speak facts. Riddles, the hawks open big old holes for John Riggles. Chantel is on the team, and you knew that he was smashing. Daryl Green is on the team, and you know nobody faster. Thought you was gonna score, but I knew that he would catch up. And Doug Williams was the first black quarterbacker to win the big dance. Got three rings, went in the big dance. When you got Joe Gibbs, you got a good chance let me tell you something about some good fans back in the day rfk was our palace if you don't know you need to ask about us think we're gonna lose well i can't believe your doubters had the whole crowd screaming out we want dollars those haters can't stand us no you don't no you don't no you don't I'm Mark Holmes, and man, I feel good. Hope you guys had a great hump day. It's all downhill from here. Peace out.